Morris, we have a very special piece to share with you this morning, one that Tracy put together earlier this week to bring us up to date on a topic that is really near and dear to her heart. Oh, Jim, that's so true. I feel so strongly about the issue of flying debris, and it's my hope that after viewing this segment that you'll feel just as strongly about it, too. So let's take a look. This is Karen Stilwell, wife, mother of three, and my best friend in high school. In 2003, she died from the effects of flying debris. Karen ate well and exercised regularly, but that couldn't protect her from the errant piece of wood that struck her in the forehead while she was water skiing. After Karen died, I made it my mission to ensure that nobody needlessly loses a friend to windborne rubble ever again. The foundation I started, Umbrellas of Love, seeks to spread the word about the dangers of flying debris through ad campaigns and educational programs. But to truly grasp the enormity of this problem, you need to hear from some of the brave survivors who were injured by random flying things hitting them. I woke up and heard the doctor say, you've been hit by a piece of flying rebar. <laughs> I got crushed by a big old-fashioned stove. I really couldn't move. The flying debris survivors I've visited with are among the bravest people I know. They never blame the gust of wind that propelled a weather vane into their body or the rusted window grate that came loose and plummeted onto their heads. Instead, they say they feel lucky. If we're going to stop this epidemic of garbage and rubble killing innocent people, we're going to have to face some hard truths about the pervasiveness of unattached or insecurely attached objects throughout our nation's cities and towns. Make a plan to assess the risk of flying debris in your area. If you visit www.watchoutnow.org, you can download some printable debris markers. Simply affix these labels to any rocks, jagged pieces of metal, large branches, loose bricks, cars, and damaged gargoyles you see in your home, workplace, or neighborhood. If you notice your kids laughing at someone they see on TV getting clobbered by a random object, take the time to speak with them about the very real consequences of getting hit on the head with a vase. Please, tell a friend about the dangers posed by flying debris. Do it for me. For Karen, most of all, for yourself. Thank you. That is very powerful stuff, Tracy. You are going to help a lot of people. I just hope that by sharing my experience and my journey, that I can make a difference in people's lives. You will. You are. Now a romance expert is going to help you get the love life you want from that impotent, fat, balding husband of yours.